Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about serving looks, we're talking about angles, we're talking about poses, um, and this is for all of the models, bloggers, influencers, photographers, and anyone in between. So I just got a whole new set of clothes from an online store called Loopsona, which is now my new favorite obsession because it is just aesthetics. Um, this sweater that I'm wearing right now is from Loopsona. You've probably seen it in my Instagram stories because I feel like I wear it every day now. I love it because it's so, so affordable and they ship from California or China. So if you live in the US, um, the shipping is really quick. It's like one to two days um, and it's all really affordable and it's just looks it's just looks so i got three outfits from there that i wanted to put together and just like show you how to pose how to finesse them and if you're interested in purchasing any of them all that information will be in the description box below but before i start rambling let's just jump right into it so the first tip that i have is that when you're shooting especially portrait um, you want to take a breath in as soon as the shutter goes off. This is something that I learned during during my first ever shoot in LA and it basically just changed my life. What it does is that it just makes you look a little bit more fierce. Um, it sucks everything into your face so it gives you a little bit more structure. It highlights your cheekbones. It just makes you look, it helps you to smile a little bit more. It gives your eyes a stronger feel. It helps you connect better with the camera and it just makes you look more lean and streamlined and and just like flawless so as soon as the shutter goes off you just want to take a breath in and then let it go and then in again for the next pose and then let it go and it'll sort of start to become sort of rhythmical and that is honestly for me how I get the best pictures the next step that I have and this one is for all the beginners if you're a beginner then you probably when you first start shooting, I know I used to do this, is I would try a little bit too hard. Like I would try way too hard. I tried to be Naomi Campbell and you can't do that. You wanna be as natural as possible. You wanna be gentle, um, but you wanna be strong in your eyes. A lot of times people will push their fingers into their skin as they're posing. And that's just not ever flattering because it just creates weird bulges in your body. Um, and so that just, it's just never really a good look. I used to be a ballerina. So whenever I get in front of the camera, I channel my inner ballet, my inner ballerina, and my fingers, I keep them as gentle as possible. So always keep your fingers gentle. Um, don't push into your skin, even if you're using your hands to pose. Just remember to be gentle with it. Just tap it lightly on your face or on your body or on your hips, on your waist, wherever it is that you're placing your fingers. Make sure that you don't push them into your skin. Which brings me to my next point. It's always a good idea to try and elongate your limbs. So from head to toe, you wanna make everything look as long and lean as possible. So you always wanna raise your head up to show more neck. The longer your neck looks, the better. You never wanna sort of do this thing where you have your head down because it just creates like extra layers of skin and it's just not flattering. Instead, you wanna look more regal and that's just by like pushing your head up, having your neck out, and making sure that if you're sitting you're sitting up straight if you're standing everything is straight and that also helps to bring out your collarbones just like all of the good features will be emphasized by just elongating your limbs if your feet are in the picture you want to again pretend you're a ballerina and have them on point you want to just have them as flat as humanly possible and you just want to and it's also just good exercise and it just feels regal unless that's not the look you're going for in which case don't elongate, do you? Another tip that I have is to angle the camera upwards. So whenever I'm shooting, particularly for swimwear or like lingerie or whatever the case is, I always 100% angle my camera upwards. And it's for two reasons. A, it just makes you look more powerful. It makes you look more regal. And B, it actually brings out your curves. So I love my curves. And so I also want to emphasize them if I'm shooting. And one way that I do that is by just like shooting shooting with my camera a little lower down and then angling the camera upwards and that just helps make your hips look a little bit wider and it just creates like curves 
or it doesn't create curves but it emphasizes the curves that are already there which is just the aesthetic that i'm always going for you'll also notice on covers of magazines like times or forbes a lot of the pictures usually are angled upwards and that's because it makes you look more powerful it makes you look more regal and it makes you look more poised which is the aesthetic of anyone who's successful so if you look successful and you act successful and you pose in successful ways then you will be successful it's the law of attraction the next tip that i have this is going to sound really weird but i've learned it over the years is to make triangles with your arms and your legs so what i mean by that is to sort of like move and structure your arms and legs in a way that creates a triangular shape one of my go-to poses especially if i'm posing in like swimwear is to put my arms or my hands on top of my head and sort of create a triangular shape this is because it elongates your entire body, um, but also triangles just are aesthetically pleasing to our eyes naturally. I think it's because we're all attracted to symmetry. So if you are trying to create more symmetry with your body, then creating triangles is a really good way to do that. And just an effortless go-to way if you're running out of poses um, to just like serve a look. Um, I also like to play around with angles. I don't just limit myself to being on my two feet. So I'll also squat sometimes, just get on the ground and just be creative with it. Um, but even when you're squatting or you're sitting down, it's important to like suck everything in because that makes you look taller. It makes everything just look smooth. And even on your face, it just like sucks everything in again so i like to play around with poses and another pose that i like to do is sort of just like the look slightly back at it um so if i'm facing this way i'd like to i like to sort of look this way um and that sort of creates like a oh the wind is blowing through my hair type of look but just like don't limit yourself to what you have play around with everything if you're on the stairs sit down on the stairs if you're in new york though don't get on the floor because we don't want you to die um but if you're in a studio space like myself like get on the floor just like play around with angles lay down don't lay down but just serve looks man And my last and final and most important point is to just move around and have fun. Uh, the reason that I love taking pictures or just being in front of the camera so much is because it allows me to perform a little bit. It allows me to get into character and I just love that. So, you know, like the most natural poses and the best poses always just come from like having fun. So as soon as you get in front of the camera, don't overthink it. Like it's very much a feeling thing and a lot less of a technique thing. Like you can feel when the pose is good and you can feel feel when the pose is awkward um, and the more you do it honestly the better you get at it if you are self photographing yourself put some music on I always listen to SZA or Badu just depending on the vibe that I'm going for and I just like vibe it out and I feel like that's how the best pictures come if you are rushed or you're just trying to or you're trying to be Cara de la Vina, or you're trying to be someone else, that's not how you get the best pictures. Um, the best pictures just come from like being your highest self, being your best self, just like channeling the queen within you, channeling the bad bitch within you, like whatever you are doing, just like channel all of that. And it will come out amazing. So I feel like I've rambled on long enough. Um, let me know how your posing and self photography goes. If you want to send me your pictures, feel free to tag me in your pictures on Instagram. My Instagram is this fashion theme. And if you're also interested in how to take pictures, go ahead and watch the rest of the videos in my series. Also today on my Instagram stories, I outlined how I set up my whole setup for all of these looks. So follow me on Instagram for just like impromptu tutorials on photography and video. And let me know what else you want to see. So I hope your pictures turn out fabulous. I'm sure they will because you are a queen and you're fabulous and you're regal. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!